guys hey uh, Tin Man Lee here um, <laughs> don't laugh at my hair I haven't been uh, doing haircut for a while well, well all the all the salon are closed anyways so um, so today I, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, Facebook live uh, talking about a, um, a one mistake um, that a lot of people uh, made uh, without knowing um, and the reason I said that is, uh, oh, this is the camera. I just look at that instead of my face. Okay, um, so, <laughs> uh, so the uh, the main reason I want to talk about that is um, I, when I go to the award-winning wildlife photos group, which is uh, where you are here. Uh, hello, uh, Karen. Hey, uh, if you guys can uh, see me, type yes. <laughs> I know you can. Um, but anyway, so the main reason I want to talk about that is um, when I browse through the photos on this group, um, sometimes I see that uh, people do make this mistake um, and they may not even know that this is a mistake. <laughs> so, so that's why I want to uh, let you know. So remember, um, hey Joe, hey uh, Palash, hey nice to see you guys. Um, how are you guys doing? Um, so um, let me continue. <laughs> I always, uh, got distracted a little bit, but I love to see you guys here. So um, you guys remember um, I gave an example a few days ago <coughs> about how important uh, image background is, right? I, I gave the uh, example of uh, Joe Satori, the famous uh, natural photographer, uh, talking about why uh, we should not even take a photo if we haven't chose uh, our prefer background. Basically, we just walk around uh, in the field and only when we find a decent background, uh, then we position ourselves to wait for the wildlife, right? And, uh, and the main reason for a good background is uh, just like when you, uh, excuse me, when you pay a lot of money for a concert, for, uh, for example, if you buy an expensive ticket to go to a piano concert by Liang Liang, <laughs> uh, hundreds of dollars, right? And just in the middle of the performance, uh, somebody just, uh, somebody's phone just rang and uh, it, and then he's not answering and all, and just ruined the whole performance, right? And uh, a distracting background is exactly like that. And, and uh, especially when I first began, uh, I got a lot of, um, uh, I thought I got a lot of good photos because the moment was great, right? But it just couldn't uh, evoke any emotion in people. And the main reason is because of the background. So uh, we all know that, um, what is a distracting background, right? Do you guys know what is distracting background means, right? So sometimes it's like, like, like right here, right? If you take a photo right here, so that's why I want to demo using myself, is uh, if you have something like this right on top of the head, right? Uh, like a tree, br tree branch or, you know, some, some really bright sky spot, like spot over the trees, right? If you, you're taking a picture with uh, the, tr the leaves, tree leaves as a background and then there's some really bright, bright like highlight, uh, it's going to distract uh, people and uh, and so we a lot of a lot of photographers know how to avoid that right uh, try to get like some smooth background in there right but one thing that uh, many many photographers uh, even in this group right there's some, some amazing photos in this group that you, you see but there's some one thing that uh, sometimes people still make that's what I see and I actually learned it from um, one of my mentors uh, Charles Glassard I don't know if he's on the audience uh, so uh, Charles Glassard is a Canon Explorer of Light and I uh, took quite a lot of um, his uh, tours before uh, about more than 10 was it 10 years ago? Nine years ago, yeah. So he mentioned many times about the importance of not, uh, well, so far I've only seen um, two photographers who really, really pay a lot of attention about that. And so uh, one of them is uh, Charles, uh, Charles Glassard. Uh, so he, we call him Charles, right? And the second one is uh, Paul McKinsey. Uh, I'm still trying to get Paul into an interview. <laughs> so, so Paul, if you see that, definitely let me know when I can get you on the interview. So, so I think they, they pay attention uh, to a lot about this, this one thing I'm going to tell you. So this one thing is uh, a line, the horizon or something in the background, almost like a horizontal line cutting across the head. Like for example, in here, right, you see me, right? And then if you see that right here, there's a line, right? 
and uh, this might not be a like a uh, definite like a, like a lines line but maybe it's just the horizon of the background maybe some water or maybe some trees maybe some tall grass creating this virtual line here that is cut, cutting across the face uh, of of the subject uh, and that's um, at first I didn't realize it's gonna be a problem but um, but if, uh, if after I avoided that like every time when I have uh, uh, before I <coughs> excuse me before I click on the shutter if I see that there is this invisible line kind of cutting through the the, the, the face or sometimes even even on the body too like if you see a line crossing the body um, it is it is not good it's gonna be distracting so uh, uh, so what you can do is uh, you may try to uh, lower your body a little bit so that the perspective to the uh, sub subject is changed like or maybe you can uh, get a little bit taller a little bit lower and for for this example right here right uh, what you can do is uh, if you shoot it like this right then then it's gone right <laughs> so this is exactly the idea and uh, and and Charles uh, pay a lot of attention to that and if you look into his photo like browse through his photos every time like, like he, he just posted a photo of uh, uh, some uh, king penguins uh, from Falkland yesterday, and you can see that he pay a lot of attention to make sure that the hori horizon in the in the water uh, is not cutting through the face, uh, cutting through the head or the body of the the penguins, and um, and and Paul McKinsey as well. If you look at his photos, he pay a lot of attention to that, and um, and so that's why I pay a lot of attention to that too. And uh, the, the it, it is not really um, obvious, but. I, as I told a lot of my uh, students, sometimes the subtle things can tell people uh, from whether you uh, your photo is like, really professional or when you make small mistakes and then they know that ah, like how can they make uh, this simple mistake, right? So once you avoided that, your photo is instantly uh, much more pleasing. So uh, so I don't <laughs> since I, I I'm not using my computer right now, so I don't have a lot of examples to show you today but if you just browse <laughs> i shouldn't say that but if you just browse through the uh, this group right and if you guys can point out of course not point to the photographers about their mistakes but just just browse through it and then you see that uh, every few photo every few photos that you see you see that there, there is always some lines or some uh, some lines crossing the, the head like cutting through the head or cutting through the, the body and uh, and if you can avoid this, I can tell you that uh, your photos can move more people and uh, help evoke more emotion uh, just by doing this simple thing like right, right, right here right you see that this line is cut, cutting across my head just just lean down a little bit and then take another photo like this and then the um, uh, the face will be um, like you don't have any distraction so it's almost like like a knife cutting on the face right so uh, that that kind of distraction is something that uh, small changes make a huge impre impact, right? If um, so, <laughs> I'm, I, I know you guys understand what I'm talking about. So, um, so what I what I tell you today is um, just just try to have fun. Uh, just go into this group and uh, browse through the photos, and um, if you see a bird or an animal uh, with a clean background, but then there's obviously a line cutting across the face, cutting across the head or the body. Then you know that um, there is always a little bit of distractions there. And uh, what else? So cutting through the head is worse than cutting through the body. Sometimes you can avoid that. Um, so, uh, but but you can see that like if you look at uh, some uh, really good photographers like Chaz and, and Paul, you see that they just like, <laughs> it's not gonna be cutting. There's actually, actually never something like that. So they pay a lot of attention to that. So uh, so I hope you enjoy um, today's talk and um, just sharing a little bit of tips today because um, I I do see quite a lot of um, you quite a lot of photographers uh, do that and uh, they may not even know it because uh, I think it it is just like the example when uh, when you go to a dealership where right? you you buy a new car and then uh, you are so excited and <laughs> the moment you uh, drove the car off the lot and go into the street suddenly you see that everybody else were driving the same car <laughs> which you didn't realize right and it is exactly the same thing like right? you may not notice it before but uh, but now you know it uh, then you can uh, try to avoid it and it, it will really help uh, your photos trust me so uh, 
so I hope that uh, oh oh hey hey Geneva so thanks yeah so I hope that you guys can can try to pay a little bit more attention in the future when you uh, take photos just just leaning down a little bit look at that like if I lean left and this and then this there will be like almost and then I cover this light right? and there's no distractions right? so all right so uh, and and see look at my body is blocking all the mess behind me too so that's a, that's also a good good tips all right guys so uh, have a good evening and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right. Okay.